Happy Saturday. Got a little sidetracked, I'll show you. Try not to spin around too much from the Razor getting the winch installed on it. Got a puppy uh, last weekend, so been dealing with that, watching him, having a blast. So kind of sidetracked from the garage, but getting going again. Uh, figured before I put a video of me finishing up uh, the winch on the Razor, I'd do a quick little change on my wife's Subaru. Uh, you will need 0W20 full synthetic. I got a platinum filter from Napa this morning and a, uh, excuse me, uh, I can't talk, a crush washer to replace um, at the drain location below. So looking up top at the engine, it's warming up right now. Hers are so easy to do. Filter right here, just screws off. Fill is right here. And it's as easy as that, so we'll get going real quick and get it drained. Oil is finishing up draining. Just a small trickle. And coming back, this is a 18 cross track. You can see that first little or large opening um, in the plastic skid plate. You can kind of see up there the oil drain. Hopefully I had you pointing at it close enough just because I'm cheap and videotape off my phone. So that's done. Had the cap off so it'll drain good. I'll unscrew the filter. Let it bleed out a little bit. Replace that. And I like to clean both of these up. A little bit of parts cleaner or brake cleaner or something. Wipe it up real good. Uh, try not to get it down in there. Um, but just kind of spray a rag, clean it up, and then put everything back together. Uh, make sure you replace the crush washer too when you put the plug back in in the bottom. We are done draining. Just a hairline dribble maybe there. You can see the filters off. Um, I did clean up uh, the plug. You can see there, wiped it all off nice, so you can reinstall that, and I'll show you with the crush washer, make sure you put that on. I won't videotape me putting it back on because you can see the crush washer right there because I don't have enough hands to videotape it or to stand with me right now. Um, but yeah, all you got to do is throw the crush washer and plug back in, uh, wipe the filter, uh, rubber gasket when you reinstall the new one, and then fill it. Plug and crush washer are in. About to put the new uh, filter on, sorry, not paying attention. Just getting a little bit of oil that drained out and putting it on the gasket. And obviously look and make sure you don't see any signs of concerns in your oil. I like to watch it come out and then kind of see and make sure you don't see any specks or nothing sitting on your catch. Something too when you do drain it with that zero weight, uh, she splashes pretty good and shoots off to the side. So make sure you have cardboard or something down if you care about your concrete. Uh, other than that, she spun on. I think it takes four and a half quarts to fill. Don't want to spin it too tight, but I did clean all those too if you can see. And we'll fill it about four, a little over four, uh, start it up and then work up to it. But that's it, a uh, quick oil change on a Subaru Crosstrek. Uh, like, subscribe. Let me know if you have any questions. If I did something wrong, help me get better. Thanks. Bye.